Three, live in the present. Charlie hadn't remembered. We were playing with the Newport Jazz Festival of Europe, which included Duke Ellington's band and Miles Davis and a lot of people, giants of jazz. It was really a very exciting tour, but the last place that we were playing out of 14 countries was in Portugal, and I went to Ornit as soon as I saw it on the itinerary, and I said, I'm not playing. And he said, Well, we've signed the contract, we should play. You'll get me in trouble if we don't play. So I decided to play. But what I did was we played Sang Fo Che at the concert. And before we played it, I decided it to the Black Liberation Movement in Mozambique, Angola, and Guinea Bissau. It was in a hockey stadium in Casagas outside of Lisbon, and there were 20,000 people there, most of whom were young students and were ready to hear something like that. They started chanting, and all hell broke loose as soon as I made the dedication, and police were running around with machine guns trying to get order. There was cheering. You couldn't even hear the song. There was so much cheering. My wife had just given birth to triplets back in New York, and it was a very traumatic birth. And I was going to cancel the European tour before I even left New York. But she persuaded me to go. And then, after I was arrested, I thought maybe I'd never see my kids. I was actually crying, but I didn't know whether I would even live or not. But now, looking back on it, even though it was very scary and very frightening, I know I would do it again, and I'm glad that I did it. <laughs>